Hello everybody, in this video I show how to lay the clove hitch. We use the laid clove hitch when we want to put it over something. For example over a mooring post or if we want to secure the tiller with a line. Again I tie a figure 8 knot in one end of the line which marks the moored part of it. I lay a loop now where the loose part lies over the moored part And next to it, a second loop where the loose part lies over the moored part. I push the loop that is closer to the line's end, here the right one, under the loop that is closer to the moored end of the line. I put both loops that are lying one on the other over my thumb, which serves as the post or the tiller. I pull on both parts of the line now and the laid clove hitch is finished. The knot is tied right when two parallel lines are crossed by another line. I show the laid clove hitch once again. I lay a loop now where the loose part lies over the moored part and next to it a second loop where the loose part lies over the moored part. I push the loop that is closer to the line's end under the loop that is closer to the moored end of the line. I put both loops that are lying one on the other over my thumb which serves as the post or the tiller. I pull on both parts of the line now and the laid clove hitch is finished. If the video was too fast for you, watch it again and practice the laid clove hitch till you are able to tie it with closed eyes. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know more about how to learn to sail, buy my book Learn to Sail with Captain Sailnator. It is published as paperback and as ebook on Amazon, Google Play and on iTunes. You will find a link for more information in the description below or in the video down here on my right side. For the next stop motion video click here in the middle and for the next knot video click here on my left side or in the links in the description below. Don't forget to share the video on Facebook, on Twitter and so on. Thank you very much.